In this episode of Museums Without Borders, we look at two very different representations of Devi, a painting by Bhupen Kakkar, alongside an 18th century miniature painting from the Kasturbai Lalbai Museum's collection. While both works may seem different in their making and their context, they both celebrate the strength and supremacy of the great goddess. We at the Kasturbai Lalbai Museum are pleased to share with you this exquisite example of a Devi painting from the museum collection that has been made in the Punjab hills around 1720 CE in the Basholi Kalam. Devi has been invoked by Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh who are seen worshipping her along with musicians. The Basholi Kalam is part of the larger Pahari school of painting which emerged as a prominent style from the 17th to the 19th century. In the hills of western Himalayas, in the towns of Basholi, Guler, Kangra and Kulu and others. Under Kirpal Pal, Basholi developed a distinctive and magnificent style characterized by the strong use of primary colors and warm yellows. However, the most significant characteristic is the use of small, shiny green particles of beetle wings, which can be seen in this painting in the jewelry worn by Devi and the other gods. On this side, we have Devi, painted by Bhupen Kakkar in 1965. Bhupen was born in Maharashtra in 1934. He was an artist who juggled several roles. He was a writer, part-time chartered accountant, a playwright, and a painter whose works have addressed issues of sexuality, gender, class, and urban life. A rather reluctant accountant, Bupen finally decided he would pursue his passion and at the age of 28, moved to Baroda to study art. It was during these years that he met Derek Boshe and Jim Donovan, British artists who were interested in pop art. His interactions with Donovan encouraged Bupen to pay close attention to the sights and sounds of the streets in India. He also began collecting film posters and oleographs, objects that were, at the time, perceived to be outside the margins of what constituted art, but which he chose to incorporate in some of his works. Devi was painted in 1965. This was a time when Bupen was experimenting with collage, influenced by pop art and culture, as well as the depictions of gods and shrines that one came across on the streets of the city. Devi is seated majestically on a throne, under which her vehicle in the form of a tiger can be seen. She holds a bowl, a sword, a trident and a drum in her four hands and is flanked by a female attendant. In front of Devi stands the dark-bodied Vishnu, clad in a pitambar or yellow dhoti. Alongside Vishnu is Shiva, in his most fearsome form, Bhairava. Behind Vishnu stands the four-headed Brahma, who blows on a conch shell and plays a stringed instrument. Devi's pavilion is set in a grove of trees, which are in the characteristic formal manner of the Basholi Kalam, with foliage in circular designs. The gods have come to worship and request Devi for help to destroy the terrible buffalo demon Mahishasu, who poses a threat to the very existence of the gods. Devi, the great primeval goddess, destroys Mahisha. It is in the supplication of the gods and through other symbols we see around her that we realize the power of the goddess. Set against a bright red fiery background, Bhupen's rendition of the Devi is almost aniconic or formless, which is in strong contrast to the detailed representation of Devi in the miniature painting. However, his use of bright bold colors was also typical of Basoli Kalam. There are also some iconographic parallels. Like the Devi in the miniature painting, Bhupen also depicts her with four arms, one of which brandishes a sword. If you look closely at the work, you see how he uses the language of collage. Cutouts from anatomical education charts 
make up the body of the goddess. It's also interesting to note the combination of both male and female sexual organs within the body of the Devi, perhaps reflecting duality. Pupin's deconstruction of this version of a fierce Devi suggests an element of subversion, given how much it differs from conventional representations of the goddess. While Devi is an early work in Bupen's practice, his influences were diverse and far-ranging. He drew from Kaligar paintings, company-style paintings, the works of Henri Rousseau, and Indian miniature paintings reflected in his treatment of the picture plane and the use of perspective, as you can see in this work from 1970. The Devi painting holds a special place in the collection, aesthetically, as well as as a representation of the powerful feminine. The painting underscores the importance of the worship of Devi as a dominant tradition in the Punjab hill states till the 18th century. Though Bhupen's work and the miniature painting were produced at different times under different circumstances, both works evoke a sense of Shakti or primordial energy that radiates through the Devi.